Holy oh, iguana. Oh my Dude, that's my favorite one right there. The white one with all the red on them. So hey, bud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Hey, oh, yes. We're heading to LA for nine days with Aquascape. Before we go in just yet, I want to show everyone how much it costs for their age um, to get into this place, just in case you did want to stop by. So here is the list right there. Now you know if you want to come yourself how much it costs. Let's head on in. Alrighty. We are heading up to this place right now. Me and Nick. I've never been here before. I've seen what's in here online and it is crazy. So I'm super stoked to film every bit of this place. Yeah, he's gonna be my tour guide because he's been here before. But over here we have the bamboo plants. Dude, like look at all the like everything about it just looks so cool. The trees yeah, like that. Yeah, back in 1942, um, we did. Holy, they dude! They all just came up and look how big. <laughs> they're huge. They're going under there. That's why they're all hiding. But look at that. Oh my lord. Look at the landscape around it. Yeah, for real. You just need to clear it up. We got, baby we got people bulls? chilling over here, relaxing, you know. Baby bull sharks. Oh my god, it's sunny yeah, I out. I see a koi, big koi in the middle. Look at this lake. No, come start this way. It goes around. You gotta go that way? <laughs> Dude, freaking huge. There's so many people visiting it. It literally, look at this waterfall right here. We'll get to the fish here in just a little bit, but we're trying to find a way around really right now. Okay, we, got, we, got a, we got a little friend right here. Mega. Omega. Prehistoric dinosaur. If only I had my drone to film this place. It's literally insane. It was like a last minute thing. We're just coming to check it out here. We are approaching the next area. All right, so Nick is introducing me to this one spot that's down here. And uh, he said this huge koi is gonna come like almost right up to your hands. So we're gonna go over there and check out those koi before anything. Then we'll move back over to there. Oh, there is a large mouth right there. And uh, try to find other things around this place. It's insane. He's literally feeding it. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that thing. It's like an alligator walking across oh, the path. He's, he's really big. Can't they change color? Yeah. He is huge. He's got to be um, at least Come here, five buddy. feet. Look at that. That's like... Holy oh, guana. Oh my Look at god. Koi. Look at the size of that Wait, can koi. we feed these koi? <laughs> these koi. Will they eat? What do you see? The, the koi? The koi. Yeah. Is that a bass? That's a... That's a... No, no, all koi. Too. All koi? Oh. God, I was look at look at look at look at. Oh, it's time to feed him. Hey, little guy, what's up? There's another bird over there. I don't think he's interested in this food. He's looking for fish. Look how big that catfish is. Oh, <laughs> holy cow, dude! Where did the iguana go? Look at them all, like right at my feet. Was it? Yeah. All of them are look. Oh, he's about to eat. That bird is so cute. Oh, yeah. Oh. Big, big one. Oh. There it comes. Dude, that's my favorite one right there. The white one with all the red on him. So bad. Look at him pop it. What? He's popping it. Look over there. Oh yeah. my god. Look right there. He just ate it. Get her. Get her right there. Hey, bud. How's it going? <laughs> I'm standing on this rock. I'm sure they don't want me to, but I'm got to get the shots. Look at them all. And the lifespan of a koi fish is 25 to 35 years. I'm sure some live more than that, or obviously less if they're not treated correctly. But uh, 25 to 35 years, you can make a really good bond with a fish like that for that long. Look at, oh, that one is so cool. Orange and white. Look at them up there. All right, bro, I think we should just move on and try to find something else. This is probably the coolest spot so far. They've got like the plants that are everywhere, like these giant ones, well, voice crack, but as babies. Some statues or something over here. Oh, it's a lot of like history, which is pretty cool, especially for people that are into that kind of stuff. They can come here and look at all these different, everything's got a sign on it or a, something about history on it. Like, look at this, every little spot. What? Koi's? No, so many tilapia. Really? Look at all of them. Holy cow. What's up, guys? 
blue gun tilapia. In mines. Literally everywhere. Look at that. Oh, hello. That thing is huge. What the? He's coming right here. Oh my god, he's huge. Look at that turtle right there. Yeah, let me pet him. Bro, you gotta, you gotta pet him. Hey, bud. Dude, the thing has like no algae on it. This is insane. <laughs> creek going down right there. There's more over there. Again. Some more over here. How do they maintain, maintain them? Stream right here. How cool would it be to have something like this in your backyard? Like a stream like this coming down and then going into your pond? We might have to do that. We literally might have to do that. Oh my god. Look at it. Like so, in Japan. For real. <laughs> Not even kidding. Like, so realistic. Like, look at the water coming out right here. That's where all the water comes out from like underground in I'll different places. Perfect. Look at that. I like how that's like in the ground. Yeah. Nice. There's like moss growing everything. This fern coming out over here. Look at that. Waterfall all the way down. Now that what we just looked at, that creek going down into a bigger pond is like what I want in my backyard, like my dream. And then as grass, I want like turf, like not like grass grass, like the turf grass. It makes it look so much sharper. So uh, eventually, one of these days, my backyard will look like a stream like that into a big pond. And uh, wow, it zoomed in kind of far right now. Nick, you just put a lizard in my back, didn't you? Yep. God dang it. He's still in there. How <laughs> Did you see him? Yeah. Anyway, what I was saying was before he threw a lizard in the back of my shirt, was I would love to have something like that. A stream going into a bigger pond and then like a bridge kind of going over it, which literally blows my mind and it is 100% possible especially with the help I have now with Aquascape. I'm sure he could definitely help me out with something like that. Oh. We are flying out somewhere which you guys will find out on this channel because I'll do vlogs of like the whole entire travel itself. We're going somewhere for nine days. Aquascape and I, we're heading all the way across the United States to another whole entire different place. That is happening. I'm leaving Sunday night. Dude, if you guys are new here, I'm Paul Caffaro and you guys are the Caffaros. We are right now in Morikami. It is in, where? where is this? Delray? I think it's Delray. I'll have it linked below if you guys want to come check it out if you're local around here or you just want to make a trip here. It's pretty dope. It honestly is. Look at this pathway. Crazy. Boys, right there. Oh my god, those things are. There they are. Oh my, oh my lord. Look how big that koi is. Three of them. One, two. Oh, there's like darker ones, but you can't see them. Three of them right there. Look, you can buy food and feed them. Oh. Oh, the butterfly koi. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. So pretty. Oh, oh my, my god. Okay, and what can we eat then? Then you can some food. You can see the butterfly koi that's right there kind of coming up. Koi or beautiful? Yeah. It's cool. I might just make my pond koi, honestly. He's a drag. I'm sorry, it's a dragonfish. Yeah. <laughs> That is crazy, dude. Those Look at them, they're just turtles. destroying. Yeah, those are cool looking turtles, too. That is the sickest thing I've ever seen. Butterfly? Look at the tail, yeah, the butterfly koi. Think about how old these things must be. Literally feels like we just traveled within 20 minutes to Japan, and now we're back into the, you know, oh my God. One sec, we can go in that shop right there. They're, oh, yes. What's good, bro? I remember seeing this thing around. Yeah, there's a lot of culture stuff here. Like, a lot of Japanese culture. I like it. Looks good. Alright. Alrighty. That is a... We're gonna look at the outside koi pond one more time. That is it for like in there. I'm sure there's a little bit more, but we didn't really get into all that. We kind of just wanted to look at the koi's main purpose of it. But uh, what? The water is like black in here. But koi's really honestly probably don't even care. There's one coming up right here. Another one down there, another one down there. It goes under, like a lot of this, Wait, it goes under the rocks and stuff. That is gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate every single one of you guys for sticking along, looking at this exotic Japanese culture place. It looks, it's honestly so sick. You could travel to Japan within 20 minutes if you live locally. Nick, thanks for showing me around, buddy. With all this being said, we're heading to LA for nine days with Aquascape. So much content to come for you guys. Hit the subscribe button. 
join the family, become a Gefaro today. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. that like is. Oh god, oh.